creatures of the internet. Today, we're going to be playing the Huntress of the Hollow. As always, you can find a link to it in the description below. It just looked kind of interesting. I liked the art style, and I figured, why not? <laughs> so, let's begin. Pixel Boom Games, made with RPG Maker. That usually means it's going to be really good or really bad. <laughs> Once a time, upon a time in a village far away, there lived a young girl by the name of Lenora. Oh, I love this art so much already. Lenora was an honest, hard-working girl, just like the rest of her family. She and her mother lived peacefully in the village and wanted for nothing. Every week, Lenora and her mother would prepare a basket of treats to bring to her grandmother, a kind old woman who lived in a little house in the middle of the woods. It just so happens that today is the day that Lenora must visit her grandmother again. Like a good daughter, she wakes from her bed, dresses, and descends the stairs of her home to speak with her mother about today's visit. Okay. Lenora cannot hunt wolves stronger than herself. Auto hunt will only auto attack. It will not auto defend. Fast food and racing. Weird, but okay. I think I have to go visit grandmother today. Mom usually wakes me up and makes me do errands before the trip, but it looks like she forgot to do that today. She's out in the garden right now. I'm certain as soon as she sees me, she'll tell me whatever it is I need to do today. All right. This music is kind of awesome. So I can run like this. Oh, do you switch back and forth between running and walking? I'm not sure. Good morning, sleepy daughter of mine. You woke up just in time to get ready to visit your grandmother. Morning, Mom. So today, I need you to visit the shop and the smith for some groceries and a package. When I'm done weeding, we can get your basket ready for Grandma, all right? Right, I'll be back with your things, Mom. Oh, okay, so you can toggle between running and... Oh, there's a sign! To Poke Weed Square. To West Poke Weed. Dash sure does love running around outside, and if I don't keep close on him, he might run off to the woods. He can't interact with the dog. Dogwood Residence. Smith. We need to go to the Smith. It was Lady. Hello, Nora. Your moss package isn't quite done yet. Come back sometime later. Maybe half hour. It'll be good to go. Okay, then. I'll be sure to. I can't really interact with anything. Well, much of anything. Bladder nut residence. I hope the huntsman will bring some game too. I love curing wild boar pork, and Charles says my per pork jer jerky sells really well in other villages. Owning a full hutch of rabbits in the middle of a wolf infested forest is a bit dangerous, but if it if I didn't keep them here, they would all be eaten. You can't go into certain residences, it looks like. I figure I might as well try. I like the coloring. I'm not a huge fan of pink, but I like how they did it. I have the pelt of, a, of the wolf that killed my wife hanging above my mantle in the bedroom. Aww. When the huntsman brought it to me, I knew I had to hang it up immediately. Getting that monster's pelt was a true triumph. Home of Baron and Baroness Bearberry. Oh, the stars in the top of the screen. I love that. Okay, so she said to go to the shop. Hello, sir. Look at that walking stash, dude. Good day to you, Lenora. I've got your mother's things right here. Here's one loaf of bread fresh from the bakery, a few slices of ham from the butcher, and one glass bottle of crystal clear water. Thank you, Mr. Kosh. Make sure to tell your mother hello for me. To East. I want to explore. Sweet Spire Residence. Albert told me the Huntsman will be here this evening. He better have gotten those herbs. I need everyone here is prone to sickness. Can't go in, like, you really can't go in certain houses. Matter Residence is down below the gate, which I don't want to go through. I run because I can. All right, so I guess we'll go back to the mother to give her her groceries. Oh, we can't. Can we? Yeah, we can. It wasn't letting me. Mrs. Stonecrop said she won't have your package ready until later today, but here are the rest of the things we need. Thank you, dear. We can set them beside me. I need to finish picking these weeds, and then we can have a... Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. What could that commotion be? I don't know, but I'll look and see. Do be careful, dear. I'll be in by... I'll be by in a minute. I have a bad feeling about this. Story one, I guess. Oh my god, everything is on fire! Are those wolves? Lenora, don't let those beasts come near you! They'll kill you in one bite! Come to us, girl, don't stand there like a sitting duck. They'll kill me. In one bite? Oh, Jesus. We're gonna die, aren't we? Quick, Lenora, get inside the Baron's house! Okay. I love how it transitions, too. That is awesome. Come talk to me when you've gotten some rest, okay? 
My mom's out there. Wolves, I swear to all that's holy. If they get in my inventory, I'll go out there and clock them in the muzzle of myself. God damn, he's gonna punch those motherfuckers. You're worried about matter? The boy will be fine. All he does is hide in his house anyway. I got the rabbits safe in their hutch, but I'm really worried about Joshua. I haven't seen him at all. I say we stay inside. The huntsman will be here soon, and he'll handle all these wolves for us. Don't tell Josephine I said that. Dash spotted the wolves first, but I thought he was barking at Esther's rabbits again. At least we got inside safely. Dash is quite a good guard dog for a puppy. I don't know what to do. The village is overrun by wolves, and it caught fire? Oh, if only my wife was still here. Dude, he just makes me sad. I want to hug that poor man. Can I go up? No? Won't let me snoop? Okay. I want it to be a sneaky snoop. How are you feeling? As good as I can feel in this situation. Good. Take this. I appreciate the thought, but I don't think mother's groceries are. It's an axe, girl. You're going to help me clear out those wolves. Wow. None of the other, like, not to be sexist, but if this is supposed to be, like, medieval-ish times, none of the guys, big adult men, could, could hurl an axe at the wolves. <laughs> really? But, but I can hardly chop wood, let alone kill a wolf. How could I possibly do that? We have no choice, Lenara. You and I are the only ones who can protect the village right now. Don't worry. We have just enough time that I can teach you how to use it. Dash, come here. Oh, I love this. The hunt is on. All right, Lenora, I'm going to learn how to hunt quickly with you because we don't have a lot of time. Oh, and don't worry about hurting Dash. He'll be fine. He's a tough pup. One last thing. If you don't follow my orders exactly, we will be stuck here for a very, very long time, so just focus on what I say. This is your hunting ground, the area immediately around you and your prey. Dash over here is the prey. You over there are the hunter. Before any hunt, a huntress must be familiar with her axe. Get a feel for yours. Try and give Dash a wallop. Choose hunt, then attack. And then attack... Good, good. But do you know what makes a good huntress a great one? Knowing her prey. If you know what to expect from prey, your hunts will be much easier. Next, I want you to scout Dash for information about him. Open your specials menu and choose scout. The village met with a heart made of gold and puppy chow. Look at that heart! He's an amazing puppo! You're catching on very quick. Good job, Lenora. As you gain experience hunting, you'll start to learn new and better techniques to end hunts quickly. But for now, let's go over safety during a hunt. Always keep yourself healthy and hydrated for battle. You should always keep your pockets full. Here's a tart and a bottle of water. Go ahead and use either from your pockets. Food will nourish your body, and drink will drink your spirit. Always use your provisions wisely. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. Hunting will come naturally to you soon, but I have a feeling the wolves outside won't be our only problem. For now, let's just steal ourselves and stop this hysteria. Okay, Lenora, follow me. I like running. I like that you can toggle in and out of running. A lot of the games, you have to hold down whatever it is to run. This one, you just toggle which I like. Let's see. Some of the fires are out, but it looks like more wolves got in. Okay, Lenora, are you ready to go hunting? K kind of. I'll take the western half of town, you take the east. We can do this. Chin up. <laughs> so we just run into them, I assume? Yeah? The hunt is on. So, hunt. A few moments later. How do I know? Oh, okay. So you just gotta keep going after him. Oh, he had a berry tart. Oh, that's a dead one. Yep. All right. There we go. All right. So that's number two. Oh, there's another one down here. <coughs> the sound effects are on point two. Attack! Did I wonder if our icon ever changes or if we're always struggling with the axe? That would be funky. Because that does make me think, oh my god. Don't murder me. Two tarts. God damn. Looks like that's the last one. I'll gather over up in town. Good job, Lenora. Oh my goodness, Lenora. Jo Josephine told me everything. I'm so glad you're all right. She did really well, Patience. Sorry I had to bring your daughter into all this. Josie, I swear. If this was any other time, I would have slapped you myself. You're both lucky you're alive. It, it actually wasn't too bad. Ahem. <clears throat> We are all glad that our courageous ladies survived such an ordeal, most assuredly. But we have a problem. Our village is a wreck and I feel that we won't be able to handle another attack from the wolves. Oh, that reminds me, oh goodness, Lenora, honey, what about Grandma? She's out there in the button bush woods all by herself. Lenora and I can go check on her. Don't worry, Patience, I'll keep her safe. Ahem! This dude just standing in the distance. That's a wonderful idea, Josephine. And after, you should catch up with our elderly friend. You should go fetch the huntsman, too. Tell him about our plight. Surely he'll be able to find a solution to this problem for us. 
Ugh, that fool, why do we need him? Josie, you know the Baron's right about this. The whole village was almost raised to the ground. I agree with Lola Bell and the Baron. We could use his help, at least. Help! Like that bumbling man could ever get his priorities straight for one minute. God damn! They're like, this person will save us, but he's kind of a fucking asshole. That's just rude. I say we sla we side with Stonecrop. We don't need him. Thanks, Theodosia. You're the only one making sense right now. Benjamin, I don't see why you can't just trust it. Trust me to keep us safe like you do. That huntsman is such a bore anyway. Josephine. Fine, fine. We'll go get that helpless sod. But I won't be happy about it. Lenora, once you get your bearings, meet me at the east edge of the square, okay? Sure thing, Miss Stonecrop. What's that shiny thing? Bottled water, apparently. Weird. Collect all the shit. Or bottled water. Do we need food? No, we are automatically healed. Yep, we're ready to leave. Yes, let's go. I think I'm ready to leave. Good, let's get going then. Miss Stonecrop, why don't you like the Huntsman? I might sound childish, but I just don't. Ever since he came here, I've never liked him. Well, did he do something bad to you or anything like that? I don't know if he's ever done a bad thing in his life, to be honest. Though, I can't help but feel that he's capable of it. Every time I look in his eyes, something just doesn't feel right to me. Hmm, everyone in Pokeweed seems to like him, but maybe... <sighs> Wolves! Lenora, get back! M more are coming! They're even bigger than before! Dude, they're standing! Damn it! Lenore, I need you to stay and protect the village. You'll have to go on. I'll be fine. No, you won't! Miss Stonecrop, don't worry about me. Go get to your grandmother's house, but... Now! Okay. She's gonna die. Those were like 12 wolves. Oh, the color palette changes. What? It's like candy corn. I like it. Button bush. Oh, shit. What was that? Oh my god! So those wolves, did they get to- No, I need to get to Grandma's house. I can't hunt them with this crummy axe. Run! <sighs> Fuck! Oh shit! I didn't think we'd be dead. Oh no! Wow! Oh my god! That is graphic. I didn't need to see that. Pretty sure we- Oh my god! Oh, that's so sad! The wolf dragged Lenora to the woods and mauled her to death. Sometime later, the villagers found her mangled body abandoned in the undergrowth. With heavy hearts, the village buried Lenora behind her mother's garden. Oh, The village continued to suffer wolf attacks and killings. Within a few years, Pokeweed Hollow was wiped out entirely and remained forgotten until the for forest swallowed it whole. Ending E? No, fuck that. I want to keep going. So there's multiple endings, it seems. Okay, well, I didn't realize that they would come back for you because it was shiny. I just assumed that you'd have the opportunity to keep running. So it makes me wonder if you lost in battle earlier on if there would be a different ending. Run! Grandma! Lenora, is that you? Also, I have to say I love that as they use the term grandma. <laughs> Um, little, probably stupid fact about me, but when my grandmother was alive, um, that's what everyone here called her. She was grandma. Grandma with two M's. <laughs> she was never grandma or grandmother. Like, everyone here, my siblings and I would ca always call her grandma. So, yeah, that kind of warms my heart right there. What's the matter, dear? Grandma, are you alright? A pack of wolves just attacked the village. Goodness, child, I'm fine, but you look terribly exhausted. Dude, there's like an army of wolves banging on your front door, Grandma. We need to hide. You should rest a while, my dear. But yeah, so that kind of adds to it for me, because a lot of games don't use the term grandma. They use grandma, grandmother, grammy, like literally every other iteration I've seen more than grandma. Alright, dear, once more from the beginning. Wolves attacked the village just hours ago, and I'm afraid that they overwhelmed Miss Stonecrop. I must go to the Huntsman. He's the only one who can help us now. Wolves always were a problem with the Hollow, but I've never heard of them attacking the village so directly like this. Something must be making them act so strangely, don't you think? Certainly not normal. In any case, I agree that finding a strong, brave hunter is the only choice we have, but is it really safe for you to go it alone? Well, Miss Stonecrop taught me how to hunt. I'm no huntress, but I've already killed three of them today. There are even bigger ones outside, though, and the axe I have right now is too weak to do the job. You need a stronger axe, you say? Oh, Grandma's got us covered! Well, you're in luck, my dear. I have a nice, sturdy firewood axe you may borrow. If it can split wood, it can split wolf skulls. Oh, hell yeah, Grandma's got this! Let me go fetch it right quick. 
Here we are, darling. You'll make better use of this than your old grandma. Given the firewood axe. I also baked some pastry. Aww, she is such a sweet little old grandma. <laughs> some pastries you can take with you. Make sure you keep yourself nourished. Pocketed five buttermilk pie slices. God damn. And bottled water. Thank you, Grandma. I'll return as soon as I'm able. Remember, wolves are fearsome, cunning creatures. Even if they are rabid, they deserve our respect. It still doesn't let you, like, look around as much as I want it to. But I'm going to go ahead and save it right here. Just because I want to make sure that we have all this saved. I thought this was going to be a much shorter game. Obviously, I'm a dumb. <laughs> we'll see what happens because I don't know how long I want this to be going on for. Oh no, I didn't mean for that to happen. God damn it. Oh look, we're ready to fucking go. Alright. There we go. Hunt was successful. Pepper pear? What the fuck is a pepper pear? Their eyes. I just love the art of this game. This is just so well done. Maybe it's just because I'm, 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 I'm kind of an art hoe. Like I really, I just, I, I, I love art. Okay, it's just there's so much variance in like everything, and I can see how you know like different forms of art work better in different scenarios, but especially retro art for some reason, just my heart loves it. Chokeberry thicket. Sounds kind of kinky. Fight me, bitch. There's two of them. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh no. Okay. Dude, what the hell? They took like three turns! What the fuck was that? There's no way to skip this either. This end screen. And it's so well done too, like for the art style. It's not like, it's not exactly retro, but it's not exactly like lazy. It's just, it's a nice mixture of uh, retro and like, oh, I don't know how to explain it. You know how like Undertale does this sort of retro thing, but at the same time for certain scenes and for certain, there's just so much detail that it doesn't, it gives off more of a, I don't know. Like you could tell someone sat there for a while and created this scene, you know? Yeah, we get it. Everything is sad and depressing. Let me continue, damn it. Come on. Like, that end screen is fucking just... Oh my god. Load game. Oh, we got another palette change. Chokeberry Thicket. All right, so auto hunt just literally does that. It's an automatic hunt. I'm paranoid if I don't save it, I'm going to miss something. God damn it, I was hoping that I just missed him. North to Hudson's cabin, west to Buttonbush Woods, east to Bloodroof Forest. So we want north. Huntsman, are you in? It's Lenora! Calamint! Is he not home? His door's unlocked. Maybe he fell asleep? Well, sleeping can wait! The village needs help now! We're breaking and entering! Oh no, is he really not home? What am I gonna do now? I- I might- I might have to do it alone. Well, I ought to look around in here before I can. His cabin must have some provisions I can borrow for the trip home. So we're just gonna steal your shit after shit-talking you. This meal is still warm and in touch. Where could the Huntsman have gone? We literally are stealing his food. We're like, you left it on the table. <gasps> New axe! Is it already equipped? All right, nowhere else to go. Hmm. Where could he be? Oh no, that wolf looks huge, and I bet that they're all there's more out there. Where are they all coming from? <laughs> Fuck! It wasn't letting me run. Oh god, damn it! That's not great. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I was scared. Fuck, I need to go back to Grandma's thing. These guys are bigger, but they're actually dying faster. God damn it! The radius for these things suck! Haha! Got away from you, motherfucker! Oh my god! Where's Grandma's house? Oh Jesus. Grandma, I've returned! Back so soon? 
Were you able to find the huntsman deer? No, Grandma. He wasn't in his cabin. I haven't the slightest idea where he could be, but I don't have time to wait for him to save us. There are ferocious wolves out there. The village is lost if I don't leave right away. Serious as this may be, you'll be wolf chow if I let you leave like this. Rest a while, Lenora. All right, then. Time for you to leave, dear. I'm afraid so. I hope I can do this. Be cautious and cunning, Lenora. Fearsome as the wolves may be, they're just as lost as we are. By the way, take some extra provisions with you. Thank you, Grandma. Let's go. We will find the huntsman. God damn it. Oh, okay. So we need to go back to the village. So did the huntsman just totally give up on us? Oh, never mind. Huntsman! Well, look who we have here. Hello, little Lenora. Visiting your grandmother, were you? What a good girl you are. Huntsman, I was looking all over the forest for you. Where'd you gone? I was out doing what I do best, my girl. What's gotten you into such a fuss? Stung by a wasp. Oh, he's an asshole. Huntsman, Pokeweed Hollow has been overrun by wolves. You need to come with me right away. We have to get rid of them. The hollow's overrun by wolves, is it? Well, you and I will have to rectify that, won't we? Come along, then. We have much to do. Wait, where are we going? Back to my cabin, of course. Your cabin? We don't have time for that. Trust me, little Gallimint. The wolf problem won't be solved by rushing to a village like a couple of silly knights. Let's get going now. We won't get anything done dawdling around in the woods like this. Is he gonna, like, kidnap me? Because I guess we'll save it to here. Please remind me why we're here instead of the village. Dear little Lenora, I've already told you why. Simply killing the ones in the village won't stop this. Then how do we stop the attack? Wolves may be pack hunters, but they always have a leader. I've run into this pack's big bad alpha wolf before. He's an old nemesis of mine. But it looks like his time has come, doesn't it? I suppose so. As long as we can do it quickly, there really isn't much time left. We? Oh no, little Lenora. I'm going it alone. He's gonna die. And I'm kind of glad he's gonna die, because he's an asshole. What do you mean? I'm not gonna stay here and do nothing. Nonsense. You'll be killed the moment you step outside. It's safer to stay here in the cabin. Bitch, I've killed so many wolves. Huntsman, I've hunted whole packs of wolves by myself. I can handle it. While that may be, I don't want to put you in danger any longer. Be irresponsible. Your mother would have my head. Here, you can have my spare hunting axe if it will make you feel safe. Also, should a stray wolf break in here, here's a little trick to end its life quickly. Learned behead the wolf. Huntsman, I appreciate everything you've done for me, but I can't help but feel that you don't believe in me. Now, I know, little Calumet, this is a stressful time for you, for everyone. But don't you worry your pretty little head off. I'll solve all of this once and for all. I accidentally skipped that part of her text, and I don't know what it said, but I got the gist of what she was saying. I'm pretty sure you guys did too. Editor could always replay it just so that we can see what it actually says, if, if they so feel it. Have some treats to hold you over for the night. I should be back by morning with a brand new wolf pelt cloak. He is a douchebag. All right, then I'm off. Try to get some rest. You've had a long day, little Lenora. He's gone. But I still feel like I need to go after him. For some reason, staying behind doesn't feel safe to me at all. Should I stay or should I go? Oh, we can actually choose! I didn't realize we'd have choices like this. Um, ooh, what do you guys... I don't think we should stay. Fuck that. He's an asshole. We're gonna go. I should go. I should go! I'm going. There are too many wolves out there for one person to handle. Experienced hunter or not. All right. I'm gonna save it right here. And I think we're gonna call this recording session a day. I don't know how much is left to this. But if you guys want to see an, at least one more video just to see how this caps off, if there's an ending to the story or not, I don't know how long the next video would be or if it would, I don't know if there would be multiple videos. I'm really not sure. I literally saw this game while I was browsing some new games and I was like, oh, this art style looks fucking dope. Like, it's an RPG, but I like the actual art style. So that kind of drew me in and I figured I might as well try to get a recording done. And this has been a really fun game to play. So, if you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. It would mean the world to me. Until next time, friends, stay away from wolves. Bye! Should I stay or should I go?